Hello guys, what is up? It's your boy Spooky Noodles here, and I am back with another book review. This is the second review I'm recording today, so if I seem a little bit tired, it's because I'm tired, alright? I have exhausted myself today, uh, but it's been a fun day, nevertheless. The only thing I did not do today, which I really wanted to do today, was uh, write my own stuff, my own work, but... I figured I'd knock out some reviews if I'm not doing that, so, and here we are. So, I already did Abhorrent Siren by John Baltusberger, so go check out that review as soon as it re it uh, uploads to YouTube, which it's taking its sweet precious time right now, but hopefully it will be up tonight, um, which is uh, September 4th, I think. It is September, right? Yeah, September 4th, so go check it out when you can. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job, but it's very short. So if you have just a, you know, quick five minutes to spare, you know, go watch that review. Now, um, on to this one. This is Killer Koala Bears from Another Dimension by P.A. Douglas. Now, before I hop into this, there's two things I want to say. One, P.A. Douglas is, like, by far one of my favorite authors out there. I wouldn't put him past Ronald Kelly yet. Actually, I probably never will, <laughs> because Ronald Kelly is my favorite of all time. But P.A. Douglas is emerging as one of those authors that I really, really like, and I haven't read a story by him that I disliked so far. That might hint, hint at how I felt about this book. But uh, yeah, I haven't read a book by him that I disliked, so every time I pick up a book by P.A. Douglas, I immediately enjoy my time reading it. And uh, this one actually was an audiobook, so before I go into this, review and read the synopsis and stuff um the narration for this was top notch um i don't think i give the audio narrations enough credit um which i need to start doing in fact i should probably list who the narrator was but i don't have time to do that unless i did it in my review that i wrote down but i don't think i did but anyways uh, yeah, top-notch narration, and now let's read the synopsis for Killer Koala Bears from Another Dimension by P.A. Douglas. Here we go. Killer Koala Bears from Another Dimension is a fast-paced survival of the fittest grunge fest. Joanna Reed and her boyfriend, Tim Bordeman, use mystical stones to open up portals in the fabric of space or time and space, opening a gateway to an alternate reality. When savage humanoid visitors invade Lewisburg, West Virginia, Joanne and Tim fight their way past overwhelming odds to leave the town, but find a dome of energy has been has them trapped. Their only hope is to return to the woman who gave them the stones in hope she has the power to save the town. It's a race against time as the invaders increase in numbers. Will anyone survive the slaughter? So if you're if I'm being honest that synopsis kind of gives a lot away But it is a very short book, so it's kind of hard to do a synopsis on that book like this But anyways, let me read my review real quick and then we'll talk maybe a little bit and then we'll uh, wrap it up So here we go What a brutal and awesome read PA Douglas happens to do it again. I That doesn't sound right, but I'm gonna roll with that <laughs> His stories are immersive and I always have a blast reading them. This is just another fantastic read by the author known for his cosmic horror stories. This dabbles with the idea that there is a multi multiverse with koala bear men that attack an unknowing and unprepared town. I love the story and its ending. I was wondering where we were going to end this story and I am happily surprised where it landed. Overall, five out of five stars. So yeah, P.A. Douglas is emerging as one of my favorite authors of all time. Um, probably, I would say, right behind Ronald Kelly. I don't know if there's anyone above P.A. Douglas other than Ronald Kelly right now. I'd have to really sit down and think about it. I love Jeff Strand, but I haven't read enough books by him as much as many books as I've read by P.A. Douglas, you know, that I've liked. And uh, I mean, Jeff Strand's up there in my top five, but does P.A. Douglas outdo or does he list higher than Aaron Beauregard or Daniel Volpe? I don't know. I might give P.A. Douglas the edge on Daniel Volpe just by a little bit, but 
I don't know about Aaron Beauregard and definitely not Ronald Kelly because Ronald Kelly is my favorite of all time. But anyways, this is just like in the end and to be in the top five is amazing anyways. It doesn't matter where you rank in the top five. You're in my top five, meaning you're one of my favorite authors of all time. I would say the list goes Ronald Kelly, uh, Aaron, du uh, Aaron Beauregard, P.A. Douglas, Daniel Volpe, mm, fifth one, Jeff Strand. So those probably are my top five favorite authors of all time. I'm sorry if I'm missing somebody because I'm probably forgetting somebody, but those are my lists so far for my favorite authors of all time. Um, Stephen King would be in the top ten somewhere, but uh, yeah, when it comes to authors that inspired me a lot, P.A. Douglas is one of those authors. I really love his work and I love his brutal endings. The Dark Man, The Old Ones, uh, Koala Bears from Another Dimension, Hitchers. Oh my gosh, four amazing books right there. And I think that's all I've read by P.A. Douglas. Um, he has a few more. And I'm kind of sad I'm going towards the end of his bibliography i don't know if he still writes i don't even know if he's alive anymore <laughs> i mean he's not old i don't think but you know I, you never know you know but pa douglas is amazing i really love his work um he has a few more stories out there like i think there's one called the watchers um rancid and um i think that's really all i can think of at the top of my head he's probably has some more but they're probably just not like unpublished now so yeah but anyways P.A. Douglas is probably my third or second favorite author of all time I think Baron Beauregard and P.A. Douglas are battling out right now I've read just as many books by Aaron Beauregard that I liked as many as I've liked of P.A. Douglas if you will I think uh, let's see uh, well I don't want to list because this is not an Aaron Beauregard video but Aaron Beauregard does have a plenty of like he has a big bibliography and he's still writing so you know maybe we haven't seen the best of Aaron Beauregard yet but I love the slob I loved Die Tommy I loved uh, I loved uh, what was the one I just uh, all smiles until I return but what was the one I just read um, yellow so there's like a few books by uh, Aaron Beauregard right there. Oh, Wedding Day Massacre. I did not really, like I liked Scary Bastard, but it's not my favorite. I gave it three stars, so take that as you will. Um, I still liked it, but it wasn't my favorite. You know what I mean? Like every book, other er, other than Scary Bastard, every other book by Aaron Beauregard has been a five-star read. And that's the same with P.A. Douglas. Every book I've read by P.A. Douglas has been a five-star read. So honestly, P.A. Douglas is amazing. That's what I'm trying to get at. You know, if he's battling it out with Aaron Beauregard at the top, with Ron, Ron, Ronald Kelly's the top, I, I don't think anyone's ever going to top him. He has just a wide range of what he can write, and he's got a big, big bibliography, and he's still writing. So Ronald Kelly's got a lot going for him. So it's hard to beat Ronald Kelly in the top ranking. But Aaron Beauregard and P.A. Douglas are battling it out for number two. That's all I'm going to say. You know, and I'm sorry to anyone if I offended anyone with my top five rankings because, you know, I know I don't like listing other people above other people because they all do just as much work, or if I think they do at least. I like to think they do. And their output is amazing. So, like Daniel Volpe, he deserves to be in the top five. He's amazing. Uh, oh, uh, Billy Silver, amazing book. One of my favorites of all time. Um... Oh, Drew Stepik's a great author too, but I've only read one book by him. So, you know, I have the audiobook, but I need to sit down and listen to it for the sequel. But, um, I mean, you can't be my favorite author with just one book that I like, you know? <laughs> but I do really respect the crap out of Drew Stepik for writing that book that I love, uh, Knuckle Supper. But uh, I'm getting a little carried away here, and this review is getting out of hand. Um, this is supposed to be about P.A. Douglas, so if you haven't read P.A. Douglas before, I highly suggest starting probably with this one, because this one's out there, fun, and has a brutal ending, so, you know, I, I, I really, and it's short, too, so this one or Dark Man, I would suggest if you're a first-time P.A. Douglas fan. The old ones is good, like I loved it, but as a first P.A. Douglas read, I definitely wouldn't suggest it as your first. 
Hitchers was great, but it's a little longer. If you're into the longer reads, definitely try Hitchers by P.A. Douglas. I love the crap out of Hitchers. Hitchers is one of my favorite books of all time, so yeah. But anyways, I am going to end this review. I hope you guys are having a great day and a spooky night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.